All right, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Lucky Day Farm. Uh, today, we got about well, three, four inches of snow. I'm gonna do a little plowing, and I thought it'd be a really good uh, chance to show everybody how I hook up my plow and how I wired the wench up to it. Um, I don't know if everybody did it this way, but after doing a little bit of research, I found this was the best and easiest way for me to do it. All right, let's have fun. All right, so it's about 20 degrees here and the temperature's dropping here in Minnesota. Uh, expecting a big uh, cold snap to come in the next couple days. Looking at about 20 below in the next couple nights and uh, going through the next into next week. So here is the Kubota Sidekick. Um, bought a KFI open trail plow system for it with a Viper uh, winch. Um, everything seems to be working really well so far. Um, I'll just kind of go through how I got this all set up and I'll hook up the winch and have maybe a little bit of more video of me plowing the snow. All right, so what I have been using, like I said, is I'm using the Viper Max 4,000 pound winch. Been only using it for plowing so far. It's been working great. Haven't used it for anything else. Um, very, very, very happy with it so far. So for wiring the winch to the battery, what I have done is I ran the blue and the yellow wire there, ran it back to the, uh, I believe they call it the inverter box. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's what it is. So you can see there, the yellow and the blue wire is going up to the inverter box. And I did not wire this straight to the battery, nor did I wear it straight to the um, to the ignition, like the like instruction said. Um, after doing some reviews and doing a little bit of research on my own, I decided to go a different way. So what I did is wired the power there right to um, our kill switch. This will be right there. And then I wired it from the kill switch to the battery. Um, that way I just cut the power to the winch when I'm not using it. Don't have to worry about any dead batteries or anything like that. Uh, it's been working well. Uh, luckily so far I haven't heard, forgotten to turn the kill switch off or anything. So um, what I do is just, just switch this on or off. It works pretty awesome. Um, so that's how I wired it up. Now for the uh, remote, I read some places where you would put this, plug this into a place on the dash. Um, I didn't like that, I thought it was kind of in the way. So what I did is I put the port in right there, if you can see that, plugging that in there. And that's where I plug that in. Um, I like it there, it stays out of the way. Nobody don't really notice it when you're not using it. Um, I'm not using it, I just throw it under the, throw it under the seats there in the compartment. Um, keeps th things cleaned up. So, so far so good on that. Power, everything's working well so far. Right. Show everybody here how to Attach the plow to the Kubota here, it's actually pretty easy. Um, you can pretty much do it by yourself if I'm able to, so I'll show you how it's done here. So I'm gonna get my remote handy here. Want this handy. And I got my strap going over the front end here. So I'm gonna start by putting the frame, attaching that to the Kubota here. Got some pins. in here so we'll put it on the other side and the hardest part is just getting the, just get the Kubota lined up with the plow here and the right distance uh, if you do it a few times you pretty much get that tight. 
All right, so I'm going to give this once you go flat here. Start off by throwing this strap over the top. Over here, put that on my plow strap. And I got my other hook at the bottom here. And attaching it to the plow. Snow straight ahead. Got it. Get angle off to the right, off to the left. Um, I know there's some fancier ones out there, but this is all manual for moving that. Uh, it's super easy though. Uh, for me, this thing is well worth the money. Uh, real happy with it with my KFI 70 inch uh, open trail plow and my. Uh, Nice suck uh, little sidekick here. Um, but yeah, real happy with everything. So hope everybody enjoyed the video. Hope this helped a little bit on your decisions on making a on your making uh, on a plow or a Kubota. Um, this thing's heavy enough to plow through anything. Um, I've had wet snow. Uh, I've had nine, ten inches of the lighter, fluffier snow. It just goes through anything. Just a piece of cake. Um, probably try to throw a little bit of video on at the end here of me plowing some more. Just a, I don't know, three, four inches that we got today. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try to film it and plow at the same time here. Don't try this at home. Um, what I really like about having a plow is it leaves really nice clean lines around the um, driveway. I know it probably doesn't matter to a lot of people, but that is one nice thing I like about having the plow. Um, obviously, I don't have a heated or fully enclosed cab. Um, it's been pretty cold. Um, cold days, but you know what with the just having a windshield on there just makes a huge huge difference. I really Haven't really needed a cab yet um, So I think I made the right decision on just doing the windshield um, I did get a glass one not a plastic one, which I think makes a little bit of a difference um, But let, let's uh, 
try this here. Just gonna push a little slope here. I know it might be a little bit hard to see, but as you can see, this pushing the snow is super easy. Super easy. Uh, no hesitation in the Kubota at all. So I only have two hands here, so I gotta do a remote with the other hand. Now I can, now I can reverse it up. Get out and I'm gonna push the rest of the snow straight forward. Pretty new at this uh, plowing stuff, so I'm sure there's better ways out there to do it, but it's working for me so far. Everybody, just got done plowing and you know when I was up plowing I thought I kind of smelled something well yeah had horse shit riding with me the whole time so hopefully everybody liked the video and uh, <laughs> doesn't think it was a horse shit video so everybody have a happy and lucky day <laughs>